See you there. My name is Gaius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, but I am more widely known as Caligula. And ladies, I am the perfect candidate to be your guy. Now, history knows me as the most tyrannical ruler in the history of Rome. But I swear, I'm a good guy, I promise you. Jog is stupid dodge! Things I enjoy? I enjoy, uh, kickboxing and, uh, riding horses. Two things that just calm me down more than anything else in this world. And aside from being associated with <laughs> the most powerful man you'll ever meet, you'll also have the enjoyment of the amazing features of my long, spindly, strong legs. <laughs> and the other feature that you will fall in love with are my unreadable, sunken eyes. Aw, oh, yeah. Just look at those bad boys. On another note, I was born at Antium in 12 CE, and as for where I was raised, it was the Roman Empire. I went all the way to the shores of Gaul. In fact, I had my wife collect all the seashells from the seashore because England wouldn't let me conquer. Stupid England. And you know that old tongue twister, Shelby sells seashells on the seashore? Yeah. My wife was Shelby. Wives? Yeah. They existed. I, I mean, they exist. Uh, I divorced them. Three of them. The fourth? Well, well she'd... She's on her way. If I had to pick a favorite animal, it'd have to be a horse. Because it's just like me. It has such strong legs. In fact, I love horses so much, I even elected my own as head consul for Rome. Action. Another interesting, well, maybe not fact, but more of a warning, is if you so much as mention the word goat, I will personally slit your throat. What's up, my maggot of a citizen? I was just, uh, walking my goat. Er, I, I mean sheep. <laughs> it's all about the eyes, ladies. That's how you take control. And if this is still not enough to convince you, because for whatever reason, you don't trust me. Don't take it from me. Take it from someone who you may respect a little bit more than me. Hi, I'm Peter Weller. Now, Caligula would be a wonderful gentleman for any woman to date. But first, let me list off some of his achievements during his reign as emperor. Well, most historians would say none, as it seems he suffered from illness shortly after he became emperor in 37 CE. And for the remaining years of his campaign, he became both capricious and cruel. He wasted state resources on meaningless military expeditions, and then became even more paranoid and delusional. Then he frittered away the funds amassed in the treasury by his predecessor, his great uncle Tiberius. Then finally terrorized both citizen and senate alike. Hey! I didn't pay you to start insulting me! Hey! It's the truth. Yeah. But the truth doesn't get you your paycheck. Do I have to start stretching my legs? <laughs> no, man. That is not necessary. I'll tell it how it is from now on. Caligula had some remarkable achievements during his reign as emperor. Achievements that were as tall and as spectacular as these steps that I am now walking on.
first. He recalled exiles and abolished many taxes that his uncle Tiberius had once put into play. Then he gave citizens many extravagant gifts to show his appreciation for their cooperation. Finally, the achievement that probably benefited everyone the most was his ability to order the capture of Sejanus, who at the time was the equivalent of Europe's most wanted. I'm Peter Weller, signing off.